to Friday Reads, where I tell you what I'm reading this weekend and review last week's pick. So last week I was reading Stephen King's The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, and I'm still reading it. <laughs> this is my Friday Reads again because it is a 500 page book of short stories and I have been peppering the short stories among, I read uh, Lexicon by Max Berry, and so I wanted to keep reading that, and so I didn't get all of Stephen King read, but I am enjoying it. I'm more than halfway through. I just read a really strange story about a pink Kindle device. Really odd if you're interested in that. So that's my Friday read still is The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. So since I don't have a review this week, I thought I would take the second half of this Friday Reads video to share some books I plan to read, maybe not this Friday Reads, but in, definitely in future Friday Reads. So I am participating in the Book Riot Read Harder 2016 Challenge. There are 24 tasks and the goal is to really diversify your reading and read a book for each task. Some people use the same book for multiple tasks. I have vowed not to do that. So I'm gonna share three books that I just picked up from the library that for fulfill three of those Read Harder challenges. So the first is read a book that was published the year you were born. And for that, I'm going to read American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. I know that this is a really famous movie. I know the really famous scene from this movie, but I've never seen the movie and I've never read the book. And I've been meaning to do both and was really excited when I was like, oh, it was published in 1991. That's the year I was born. I can use this for my Read Harder Challenge. So I'm gonna be picking this up, American Psycho, Brett Easton Ellis. Hopefully it's creepy. We'll see how that goes. The next book that I picked up for Read Harder is Spook, Science Tackles the Afterlife by Mary Roach. I love Mary Roach's book Stiff, which is about cadavers and uh, what happens to them and the different aspects of them. And I really loved that book and so I have been meaning to read her others. And I picked up Spook, which is about the afterlife and I am just excited to pick this one up. This fulfills the nonfiction science book of the Read Harder Challenge. Mary Roach is a fantastic science writer, but she's really accessible. She's kind of like the Sarah Vowell of science. So I'm going to read this one for this challenge, but hopefully I'll read some of her other ones. She has one called Grunt, which is about the military. She has one uh, about food, I think it's called Gulp, and one about sex, which is called Boink. There's a theme here of one word titles. So I'm reading Spook and I'm excited to pick this one up too. So the last book that I picked up for the Read Harder Challenge is Wife of the Gods by Quay Quarty. I think is how you say that, I'm not sure, sorry. Uh, but it fulfills the first in a series by a person of color. And he is African American and Nigerian and I found this because of the Goodreads Book Riot Read Harder Challenge group. I was looking on the thread for this particular task and this one popped up and it looks really good. It's about a detective in Nigeria and there's some supernatural elements to it, I think. And it's the first in the Inspector Darko Dawson um, series. I think it's the first one, uh, but it's in a series, so I am going to pick this one up for that challenge. That's Wife of the Gods by Quay Quarty. So that's all I have for this week's Friday Reads. You can keep up with all the other things we do at Game and Read on our blog, which is gameandread.com. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Litzy. We are at Game and Read. You can find my Goodreads, where I post reviews of all the books that I read. That is goodreads.com slash emerch. And you can listen to us and the Game & Read podcast. You can find that on gameandread.com or you can subscribe on iTunes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.